Dear Christian, Paul is writing to us, Christ is all you really need to be full. And that's very important because voices were coming to them just like they are to us from all over the place, from false religions, from charismatic political leaders, cultural icons, from the marketplace. And all these voices were hawking these fresh ideas and additions to Christianity saying, you can keep your Christ, but have us to be fulfilled and complete. Do this, try this, add this, get this, be this. Your worship's okay, but you need this next level. The Bible truth you have is good, but we have some more for you by our book. Does that sound like things you hear today in the Christian world? Very dangerously, these voices were coming disguised as Christian leaders, it seems, which is very relevant today. Just turn on so-called Christian radio, so-called Christian TV, whirl up the old YouTube, and you'll hear voice after voice telling you you're never going to be full unless you experience the fullness of their special teaching until you have these mystical experiences, these power encounters, these prophetic unleashings, these spiritual mountaintop ecstasies. They got all kinds of buzzwords, and you need them. And people get sucked into this stuff, just as these Colossians were prone to. And they all want us to believe that Christ is not enough. They try to add to him. It's very tempting, this voice that whispers in the background, Jesus is not enough you want to be really full. And what that voice does is it dangerously and damnably tries to add to the sufficiency of Christ. So what does Paul do? He upholds the supremacy of Christ and the sufficiency of Christ over some things. No, over all things. All things on heaven and on earth, he writes, visible and invisible, whatever thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. Why go to angels? then if Christ is supreme? Why pray to a dead saint if Christ is all you need? Why turn to local gurus even when they claim superior spiritual insight and promote that they have special teachings downloaded from God? Why go to them when in Christ you have yourself the full assurance of salvation? And in Paul's words, you have the inheritance of all the riches of the glory of this mystery Christ in us, Christ in this world, which is Christ in you, he says, the hope of glory. You don't need spiritual intermediaries or realms or extra insights. You have Christ, who he says is all and in all, who is supreme and sufficient, our all in all. 